Yes, hi Jan, Happy New Year. It occurs to me that you may not know who I am. I'm Kim Solas. I founded the Banff Classification in 1991. Before that, I had a strong interest in the pathology of acute tubular injury starting 45 years ago, 1974, when I was a first year resident at Johns Hopkins in pathology. I'm writing this video, I'm making this video to request that I be allowed to examine the slides in the article that you just published on December 27th on uh, renal histopathology in patients with lethal sepsis. Um, this is an area that I have had a strong interest in for a very long time. My 1979 article in Medicine uh, identified two lesions, brush border loss and uh, departure of individual tubular cells from the basement membrane. They, these are living cells that just decide to get up and leave and go out into the urine, leaving bare basement membrane. And of the 12 lesions that I, I identified in that 1979 paper, those were the only two that correlated with renal function. Um, and a lot of the other lesions not only persisted into the recovery period when kidney function came back, but were actually more prominent in the recovery period than they were during renal functional impairment. So this has remained something of great interest to me. In 2017, Ronaldo Bellamo and Sean Bagshaw and I published a paper analyzing uh, uh, autopsy patients from the I ICU. And we found that I, I was able to differentiate the histopathology between those that had uh, renal functional impairment at the time of death, whereas the other pathologists, um, so I, I was able to do it with 63% <laughs> accuracy, the other pathologist was in the 30%. So there is, I believe, still in 2018, 2019, uh, significant impact that an individual can, can have. <laughs> And I think that I, I could probably see something of interest in the slides from your study that perhaps has not been identified to date. And I would like the opportunity to do that if you would allow that. It's quite an unusual request, but I thought to put this to request to you on New Year's Day may uh, uh, attract your attention. And how did I come to make this video on New Year's Day? Well, during the morning, the wee hours of the morning of New Year's Day, human beings are not very active, but the Google Scholar bot, it's just a normal time for that bot, and it sent me a notification, um, Google Scholar notification of your article. And it's one of the few <laughs> such notifications I've ever received in my career. So how, somehow the Google Scholar bot thought that your article was of particular interest to me, and they were right. <laughs> that, that bot was correct. So what's the time frame that I'm proposing? Well, believe it or not, uh, critical care physician David Crippen and I have sort of a, an alter ego relationship. We believe we are exactly the opposite, polar opposites. And uh, we're going to meet at the next Banff classification meeting in Pittsburgh, which is where David Crippen lives. Uh, September 23rd to the 27th. That will be the first time we ever meet face to face, although we've had a lot of interaction over the years. Both of us have run our respective email discussion groups since 1994. 
David runs Critical Care Medicine L, CCML, and I run Nephrol, the Kidney Medicine Email Discussion Group. Um, and so what I'm proposing is that we would either complete this review of this, my, my review of your slides or have made substantial progress so there's something to talk about, the time that David Crippen and I meet in Pittsburgh September 23rd to the 27th, 2019. Um, I think that uh, I can't provide a guarantee, but I think substantial insights would come from allowing me to review the slides. Now, how should I do that? Do you want to come here? There's a lot of interest to see here. Uh, this uh, video background <laughs> give you that idea that there are some things of interest to see in Edmonton. But the president of your University, Sibrin Papama, who has just stepped down from that position after 10 glorious years, was a colleague of mine here in the 1990s. And uh, he talked a lot about Groningen when he was here. And I would not mind at all having an excuse to go there if uh, that's the only way that I can review the slides from your study. So there are lots of other details that, that, that one could talk about here. I, I include some links in the email where I'm sending you this video. And one of those links is about the pace of communication in science and medicine now, in 2018-2019. It's really quite remarkably different from the past. A lot of important things in science took years or decades to change when we were relying entirely on journal and book publication. Now in the era of the internet, things can change within a matter of days. The only thing is <laughs> that you can't be sure that you cause a a particular event. There may be something you want to happen and you do something and then it happens, but that sort of chain of custody of absolute proof that you are the cause of what happened is much harder to obtain now than it was in the past when all interaction was documented and you knew what caused what. So there's also a video about that that I shot with uh, Ishida Mogi, and uh, you may find that interesting, entertaining. Anyway, um, if you didn't know anything about me before, I want to say that to watch all the videos would take you, you know, a very, very long time. I don't recommend that. You, you can select what you think is of interest. So I look forward to your reply and I hope that in some fashion you will allow me to review the slides from your very interesting study. Thank you very much and Happy New Year!